AP updates, boys, they made major changes to the way we play Madden. Was it a W or L? I talked on the podcast why it was an L, boys. I just feel like Madden's coming to an end. We're in the off season. I wish it would have went to 20 AP on both sides or 30 AP on both sides more. The more we can change, the more we can add. Why not? You know, I feel like the game, it's not dead, but it's on life support. And giving us way more AP, just be able to max out our AP on the field would have been cool. This didn't change too much. What it mainly changed was escape artists is an arm, a leg, a torso, a, a thigh, a head. You got to spend everything to get escape artists. I know we hate escape artists. I do too. But, man, they really just just hit it with a bazooka escape artist you know and I, honestly it's going to be good it would have been good for comp i just feel like this this update was two months too late you know let me know how you guys feel is this a w or an l you guys can watch me play on twitch and i'm going to show you guys the abilities i'm going to be rocking right away with this new ap update they got four more ap on defense too so you can stack that defense a little bit more offense didn't get any additions and Escape artist got that super nerf. You guys can watch me play live on Twitch. They ask me all the time about my ability. So here it is. This is what we're going to rock. We're actually going to ditch Derrick Henry. <sighs> this might be an overreaction, but it's my first reaction. Your first reaction should always be an overreaction. You can really back in. Part of me thinks I will go back to escape artist. I'm not sure, but this is what we're going to try. These are the abilities we're going to rock first day of the new AP updates. Let's take a look at it. We're going to go to Joe Namath because he's a field general. He gets that pass lead elite for a little bit cheaper. And we're going to rock pass lead elite and we're going to rock hot route master because it's only two for hot route master. It's like such a, such a valuable, such a bargain ability that you got to have it. And then you have pass lead elite for three. So that's just five AP on a quarterback where if I wanted to use escape and pass lead elite on Derrick Henry, that would be 13 AP. That's like a huge difference, 5 and 13. 8 AP we can use elsewhere. I'm going to show you guys where I choose to use that. First off, starts up front. Because I'm saving so much AP on my quarterback now, going to Joe Namath, we're going to put two post-ups at guard. I always put my post-ups at guard. That way they're always involved in a double team. If you put it at center or tackle, sometimes they're not going to be involved in a double team. You know, if you have a double team right up the gut with the center, it's always going to be with one of the guards, so he will be in a post-up. Uh, if you have one with the tackles, unless you max protect, it's always going to be with a guard. So you're going to get you're going to get your most value out of your post-ups right there, boys. So that's why I put him at tackle. We're also going to run three deep out elites. Deep out elites, they catch pretty much every single pass, mm, but pass. 16 yards is what i'll say so every single deep post deep streak deep dig route deep corner route they're going to catch every single one it is a really good ability it's one that i could do without but man if all three of your receivers have it they're going to just snag every pass that they can we have hot route master so we don't need uh any slot apprentices you know wide receiver apprentice anything like that so everybody's going to be able to go on every single route and we have our route runner, Cooper Cup. Actually, all my receivers right now are route runners uh, with Chad, Josh Gordon, and Cooper Cup. So we have our route runner, Cooper Cup. He's going to get route tech. That's going to be the last the icing on the cake. People think man coverage is going to make a comeback with the AP update, so you got to have that route tech just to be safe, just to keep it in the back uh, the back hip if you want to run those hot routes, if you want to uh, get, get open on deep poles, deep crossers. Uh, dig routes, out routes, anything. Cooper Cup, uh, he is the Super Bowl MVP 99 overall, so we'll give him route tech. He shouldn't be able to be covered by man coverage. And we have Joe Mixon here. Uh, you know, I'm still giving the running back rotation. Let me know who you guys have at running back. Defense, this is where I'm not going to make too many changes, man. You guys know I've been running six acrobats all year. Both safeties up top, Sean Taylor, Taylor Mays. I'm going to use Cam Chancellor. He gets those upgrades. I don't have him fully upgraded yet. I'm not a nerd. If you have him fully upgraded, you're you're actually you're a demon. So we have Cam Chancellor. He actually has 97 speed. Uh, so for me, that's he plays linebacker. So that uh, should be enough. I wish I made 99 soon enough. Right, though, boys? Soon enough, we'll get him there. So we'll use Acrobat on him. 
and you know he has that free uh, out of my way, so we'll keep that there. Sherman, DK Metcalf, you guys know I use Seattle theme team just for these two corners to have 99 speed. They're both 6'3". They both can hit. They both can do a lot of things. So we have Acrobat on all those guys. A bunch of different things I tossed around was do I put pick artists on everybody? Do I do that? Uh, you know, so but what I want to try first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put I'm gonna geek the D line up a little bit. We're gonna keep our we're gonna keep unpredictable on our D tackle, which I'm gonna use Aaron Donald right now. We're gonna uh, we're gonna keep we're gonna use Dwight Freeney. We're gonna put edge threat on him, and then come around 98 overall Max Crosby. We're actually gonna put edge threat elite on him. And what edge threat elite is, it is just edge threat plus under pressure. So you get both of those abilities combined when you use edge, edge threat elite. So uh, going to geek the D line up a lot. What D line abilities have you guys been using? I know Unpredictable has been really good all year for one AP. So uh, we might go back to just two Unpredictables. But right now, I'm going to try to geek that lineup. If people are going to overreact to this and drop their escape artists, uh, I think boosting the D line, really geeking up these guys, is going to help you play defense, man. They're not going to be able to run away from Aaron Donald. They're not going to be running away from Max Crosby, Dwight Freeney. So. Those are the abilities I'm going to try. It's going to be what I start with. Shoot, I will see how it goes. Make sure you guys check in on Twitch. Let me know you're from YouTube, man. I will get you guys a sub. And, and you know, you guys can watch me try to play with this. See what it's like, you know. In my heart of hearts, part of me feels like Escape Artist is, is still the best ability in the game. If I could do Escape Artist, Pass Lead Elite, and one post up, I would lock it in. 100% but uh for me right now this is what I want to try we're gonna try to go to Joe Namath I played a little bit last night and I was getting sacked I'm used to being able to roll out at the last second and throw the ball away or gain five yards scrambling so I got to get used to going back to no escape it's going to be tough for all of us I know we've all been kind of crutching that escape artist but these are the abilities I'm going to try let me know what you guys are thinking and let me know if this ability update was a W or an L